안녕하세요. Hello again, everyone. So I am going to share another tale from Korea. This one isn't really strange, or I don't think it's really funny, but I think it's pretty unique. I was getting ready to go down to Busan, another city that is to the south of Daegu, down on the coast of Korea. I was actually at the subway station with my backpack, and I was heading down there for a weekend away with my friends. And then this woman started chatting to me because she knew that I spoke English because I'm a foreigner. I started speaking with her. Her English was really good. Then she invited me to go to her family's home. And she said she would make me dinner, things like that. I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. The week after, after I was back, back in uh, Daegu, I went to this woman's home and she made me a ton of food. I met her whole family. I met her husband, her son and daughter. It was a bit weird being the focus of attention. Overall, it was really cool. They were really interested in hearing about me and you know my passion for making videos. She made me so much food, all different kinds of snacks and different Korean dishes. And I was there for basically the whole day. And then I ended up going back again a second time. And the second time they asked me to bring my computer so I could show them how I make videos. And that was pretty cool. Then I also went to a cafe where the woman wanted me to meet, she wanted me to meet her friend's son so I could practice English with him. So that was pretty cool. And then I went back to the apartment, ate more dinner, spoke with the family for a few hours. It was great. I mean, it was just a, such a, it was very interesting to have this experience. And I don't really know many people that have had an experience similar to this one. Even other teachers that I know here in Korea, you know, in that circle, it's pretty unique to be invited to a native's home. At first, I felt strange about accepting the first invitation to go to this house, but my motto here in Korea has just been, just say yes. Just new opportunities come, just say yes. You don't really know what it's gonna be like until you actually experience it. And that's a good motto for life, really. I just thought to myself, say yes. And I felt a little weird, nervous about doing it, but I did it and I'm really glad that I did because now I have this unique experience and this memory of experiencing a Korean's home. I think that is exactly what living abroad or coming to a new country is about. Letting go and just going along for the ride and see what you can learn and these experiences that you can have that can change the course of your life. So I think I will look back on this experience in a few years and really be happy that I made the decision to say yes. So this was another, another one of the Korea tales and I'm going to be sharing more of these. So please stay tuned on this channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like the video, drop a comment down below, visit my website, breakyourboundaries.tv, more travel content on there and more coming on the way as always. All right, thank you everybody for watching. Peace out.